Public health is everywhere in our lives, even though it's often invisible. Epidemiology is a scientific approach to do research on health issues in a society. And it combines medicine, it combines biology, it combines sociology, but it also combines mathematics, it combines data science, and it combines issues of ethics and of law. Our PhD program is international, highly interdisciplinary, and supportive. Global meets local. This might sum things up. We've got students from many different countries addressing issues of relevance to Bavaria, to Germany, to Europe, or the world. What is inspiring me is all the international students. If you choose to join the program, you're going to meet students from all over the world. Hi, my name is Megan Molnar. I'm from Alabama in the USA. So my name is Nassim Tayyibi. I'm originally from Iran. Hello, my name is Saoli Harada. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. My name is Ama Chimua Echampo, and I'm an international student from Ghana. I think it's very, also very interesting because we have a 21 nationality in our PhD program, and I really like always you hear the, the different their views, different aspects that they have, and also very interesting as a culture of learning. The program is highly interdisciplinary, both in terms of the composition of professors and supervisors, and certainly with respect to the student group and with regards to the projects that are being done. And why should you come to Munich? What makes our program so unique? Munich is a center of life sciences. It is embedded in a huge network of many, many health-oriented and life science-oriented institutions. Munich has two universities with specializations in life and health science. We have two large university hospitals with a lot of impact on health policy, health technology, and therapeutic development. They have a specific institution called the Landesamt für Gesundheits- und Lebensmittelsicherheit, which is a kind of um, little FDA, and they are also cooperating with us. The PhD program is firmly embedded within the Pettenkofer School of Public Health. This is a setup of three institutions, the LMU Munich, the Helmholtz Center Munich, and the Bavarian Health and Food Safety Authority. And that's a really unique set up to have a school of public health that embraces three institutions. I chose this PhD program for two reasons. One is I actually did my master's of epidemiology at the IEB and I knew um, the quality of the teachers and the program was really high and I also knew the office was extremely supportive and they were going to help guide me through this process. And the second reason is that after I completed my master's of epidemiology, I've been working now as an epidemiologist for two years. So I'm really ready to take that next step and um, continue to develop my expertise as an epidemiologist. They have the um, networks between the clinical hospitals and also the universities and research centers. They are huge um, collaborative work here. And um, my uh, specialty, preventive geriatrics, is also having a special program here. And that's the uh, biggest reason why I chose this um, PhD program. And the thing I also like it here in, at IBE that everybody always discussion in English because my German is not very good, I should really say. And when it's sometimes scientific, I really have problem. And I like so much always the discussion is nicely in English and we always talking, exchanging, very interesting. The thing that drew me here was the excellent framework provided by the PhD program. Um, which is very key, I think, um, uh, if you want to get through your PhD program and if you want to meet your challenges um, which are coming along with it. Um, so you do not only get the support of one supervisor, but you have a whole committee, this uh, thesis advisory committee behind you. Each of our fellows are supervised by the thesis advisory committee 
and that consists of three experts within the field. During annual meetings, students have the opportunity to present their work and discuss about their progress on their research. Hi, I'm Michael Axin. I'm a professor of public health and prevention at the Technical University of Munich. I was actually the first student who successfully completed the PhD program for medical research back in 2016. And I think the program gave me a really nice foundation for my further academic career. What I really liked about the program was this nice balance between having um, some kind of like core curriculum, uh, but also have the flexibility of taking external courses from different departments and institutions. My name is Pareen Bora, originally from Mumbai, India. I really like the structure of the PhD in terms of its flexibility. It allows every student to choose the courses required to shape and eventually complete their PhD. A real highlight of our program is a PhD retreat. Once a year we come together for three days in the Bavarian countryside. These team building meetings focus on scientific topics but also strengthen the network between our students. One of the highlights that I also really enjoyed during the program uh, were the annual retreats uh, where there was some time to chat with other peers but also with some of the professors and faculty at that time. So I expect to really deepen my knowledge of epidemiology, um, to really become an effective uh, epidemiologist in industry. And part of this is you know, collaborating with other academics and working together to really drive research forward, um, specifically with the, the hope of open science. Having somebody coming from, for example, Ghana, and, and, and also working in Ghana, even though they're in the PhD program here, their um, PhD uh, project is in Ghana, um, just to see what kind of challenges they meet really also inspires you to, to approach your own challenge. This time I wanted to deepen and uh, further um, apply the knowledge and skills of clinical epidemiology, biostatistics and also the data science um, here in Munich. I also like so much living in Munich. It's a very safe city and also in a way it's a very colorful city so you don't feel that very different with the as a culture also different. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have a lot of expectations, you know, including the, you know, the blood, sweat and tears that's going to take to get this done, for sure. I know it'll be a challenge, but I'm hoping for a lot of, you know, personal growth out of this experience. So some of our alumni are academics at universities or independent research institutes. Others work for local or governmental public health departments and others go to industry and start their career there. Uh, currently, I'm working uh, as a senior epidemiologist uh, in Bayer Pharmaceuticals in the area of uh, pulmonology and critical care, uh, as well as digital epidemiology. And there, I'm responsible uh, for conducting, planning, designing, and managing uh, observational studies throughout the life cycle of a product. Another thing what was really nice is that the program also enabled me to build up some network and actually some of the, uh, of the professors but also some of my peers uh, from, from that time are now my cooperation partners uh, for some of the research projects uh, that I am doing. Uh, and of course finally it's also quite nice to have uh, changed the sides uh, and actually having the pleasure and the honor of uh, mentoring, co-mentoring and supervising uh, some of the current PhD uh, students that are enrolled into the program. And last but not least, our PhD program is very supportive. Uh, both the PhD program office and the spokespeople, but also all the supervisors engaged, really try and accompany you on your journey towards a PhD. There are sometimes problems along the way. Um, we try to help you solve those. Friendly space, also supportive, very supportive. You really, sometimes you feel that they take care, they care about you. This is also very important. PhD projects can be a bumpy road and maybe if you feel lost a little, um, they step in and really um, are there for you and then try to help you um, to, to go on anyway. So I think the coordination unit is also doing a very excellent and very patient work with all of us. What I love about my PhD program is about the support the staff give to international students like myself because of course I always have questions 
and I always need help one way or the other. And they, and they provide immense support. They always direct you as in the courses to pick and, and, and on and on and on. So thank you very much for this. We welcome committed and enthusiastic applicants from different backgrounds that are relevant to epidemiology and public health.